see Astrology says the stars and planets chart my destiny But that's so silly, I don't believe it So I'm telling you Don't waste your time trying to change my mind I know what's tried and true So you can't fool me, no way you can Cause I read the Bible and I understand So I won't be fooled by the tricks I see Says that I have lived my life before And it goes on to tell me that I keep coming back for more And evolution teaches there's a monkey in my family tree you Tell me what right did Darwin have to rewrite history Oh, you can't fool me, no way you can Cause I read the Bible and I understand So I won't be fooled by the tricks I see Oh, you can't Isn't that a great song? Yeah. yeah. Mail girl. I got a package for you, Jay, but I gotta go. I have a lot of mail to deliver. Thank you. Hey, look, our wordless books have come. Rochelle, would you please take that and put it over my box for me? Sure. Mr. Skywag, package for Mr. Skywag. There you are, Mr. Skywag. I have a package for you. It's from the Acme Mail Order Company Shh. again. Not so loud. Oh boy. I thought you promised Jay not to send a wafer anymore. Shh. Thank you, mail girl. I hope this isn't another one of your crazy schemes. Although Jay says your crystal ball does make a dandy paperweight. Well, I can't stay for the fireworks this time. Ta-ta. Hmm. Reincarnation. You have lived before. Mr. Scalawag, what you reading? Re Refrigeration, Benny. My icebox is out of order. I thought it said reincarnation, Mr. Scalawag. Why, Benny? What do you know about reincarnation? Ah, uh, nothing. I heard some kids at school talking about it. Oh, and what'd they say? Well, one of the kids said that you could remember a lot of stuff about being famous people a long time ago. But first you had to get hypnotized. This one boy said he used to be a Viking sword fighter. And my friend Lucy the Lamb can remember being a beautiful princess. But gosh, Mr. Scalawag, I couldn't remember anything except being an even smaller mouse than I am now. Lucy said that's just because I've never been hypnotized. What's hypnotized, Mr. Scalawag? Hypnotized, uh, yes, uh, hypnotized. Um, is what happens just before you, uh, remember everything. Yeah, that's it. Benny, my young friend, you're in luck. I just happen to be an expert in reincarnation. Really, Mr. Scalawag? Absolutely. Now, if you'll just relax and close your eyes real tight. Am I hypnotized yet, Mr. Scalawag? Uh, not yet. Just keep your eyes closed and relax. Ah. Here it is. Benny, I want you to relax and listen to me. Soon you'll hear nothing but the sound of my voice as you drift into a deep, deep sleep. Sleep now, Benny. 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 Huh? Am I hypnotized?
eyes now, Mr. Scalawag? Uh, yes, yes, absolutely. Benny, now I want you to think about drifting back in time, past all your birthday parties and everything. Deeper, Benny, deeper. What can you see, Benny? A big, beautiful birthday cheese with a candle on top. One candle? Yeah. That's good, Benny. Now drifting further, further, back in time. Soon you'll see a very bright light. Do you? No, but I can't see my birthday cheese anymore either. Ah, progress. Soon you'll see a very bright light. Can I please look at that cheese again, Mr. Scalawag? Would you forget about that silly cheese? I don't think you're hypnotized, Benny. Maybe if I could see that light. Yeah, yeah, that's it. You're drifting deeper, deeper, deeper. Wow, I see it. I am definitely hypnotized now, Mr. Scalawag. Good, good. Now, Benny, I want you to visualize yourself in another place, another time. Can you do that? You are wearing strange clothes. Others around you are wearing strange clothes, too. But mine are the best, huh, Mr. Scalawag? Yes, Benny, yours are the best. Can you see this, Benny? I think so. Is it okay if I pretend a little bit? Uh, I don't, uh, well, uh, yeah, go ahead and pretend. In fact, I think you can see yourself right now. Uh, you're in ancient Egypt. You're the ruler of the whole land. Can you see this now? Yeah, boy, this is great, Mr. Scalawag. What do you see, Your Majesty? Two soldiers brought me a tray. Oh, boy, it's another birthday cheese. Oh, Mr. Scalawag, this is the best. Uh-oh, Benny, I think it's starting to rain where you are. Wow, I can feel it. Oh, no, my cheese, my beautiful cheese, my beautiful cheese. It looks like this is getting a little bit out of hand. I'd better go see if I can straighten it out. Benny, listen to my voice. The rain is stopping now. Uh, uh, you're coming back, passing through the light again. Oh, no! A flood! Yikes! I can't swim! No! What is going on here? That's what I like to know, Benny. Well, Mr. Scalawag hypnotized me, and I went to Egypt, and I couldn't even have my own birthday cheese. But then a big flood came, and there was this big fish, and my cheese got ruined, and my guns ran away, and I can't swim. And this light came, and I was all wet, and, and that bad fish took my cheese, and hey, wait a minute. How come I'm still wet? Not so fast, Mr. Scalawag. Come back here. Don't you think you owe our friend Benny an explanation? Yeah, uh, I was just fooling Benny. I, I better go now. Not until you explain to Benny. Oh, gosh, I was just trying to reincarnate you because this book says that if you hypnotize, I mean hypnotize someone, you can find out all the famous people they used to be. I didn't mean to. I mean, I didn't think, oh, I'm sorry, Benny. Uh, it didn't work, and then I thought about the flashlight, oh, and then the water bottle uh, it just got carried away, and oh, yeah, I'm sorry, Benny. <laughs> Benny doesn't like me anymore. <laughs> ah, that's okay, Mr. Scalawag. Don't cry. I still like you. You do? Sure, I do. You mean it? Can you ever forgive me? I forgive you, Mr. Scalawag, but you have to promise not to fool me anymore, okay? Okay, Benny. I still think it was a mean trick, though. You shouldn't treat an impressionable young mouse like that. Besides, you owe me a cheese. What? Wait a minute. You wait a minute, you crafty old weasel. But, Benny, that cheese was... Boys, boys, boys. All right, Benny, Mr. Scalawag. If you two are through bickering, let's take a look at what we can learn from this mess that Mr. Scalawag has created with his 
mail order madness. Now, I thought that we'd agreed that you wouldn't order any more of this nonsense. Well, I, uh, you see, I was... Never mind. We'll sort this all out, and maybe you'll finally learn your lesson this time around. Can't. Now, Benny, be nice. Oh, Clowney, could you please bring my box? Thank you, Billy and Clowney. Justin, would you come here, please? Would you take these books and pass them out to all the kids? Sure, Jay. Thank you. Hey, what's this? There's no writing here. Now, who's fooling who? Calm down, Mr. Scalawag. I'll get to that in just a minute. But first, there's a couple of things that we've got to deal with, like your hypnotizing and your visualizing, for instance. Let's take hypnotizing. Now, Benny, what happened when Mr. Scalawag hypnotized you? Well, you know I was the king, and I had real neat clothes, and my cheese, oh, my cheese. Never mind your cheese for now, Benny. Do you think you were really hypnotized, or were you just pretending? Well, wait a minute. Mr. Scalawag, where did you learn to hypnotize Benny? Well, I, uh... Mr. Scalawag? Okay. Well, this was before we had our little talk about ordering stuff. I think I got the idea out of my reincarnation book. Your new reincarnation book? Aw, oh, gee. I just made it up. I never hypnotized anybody. I was just pretending. Pretending? What about you, Benny? Well, yeah. I was just pretending, too. And it was real fun till Mr. Scalawag squirted me with the water bottle, and then that bad fish came in. I think we get the picture. So Mr. Scalawag pretended to hypnotize you, and you pretended to be hypnotized. But even if Mr. Scalawag had really hypnotized you, you should never turn your will over to someone else, Benny. Now, what about this business of being king? Mr. Scalawag said that I was, so I just thought I was the king and had real neat clothes and guards and stuff. Exactly. This is the point I want to make. When you play outside with your friends and you pretend to be a cowboy or an astronaut or anything that's fun and fits in with the games that you're playing, but it doesn't mean that you're really a cowboy or an astronaut. It just means that you're imagining it. You see, Benny, when Mr. Scalawag suggested that you were a king, you imagined yourself to be one. You can imagine that you're a giraffe, but it wouldn't mean that you're really a giraffe. Let's face it, <laughs> trying to be one would be a real pain in the neck, wouldn't it? Boy, that's for sure. Don't feel too bad, though, Benny. Even grown-ups can be tricked into sometimes thinking that they have lived other lives. But sometimes, grown-ups use the word visualization instead of imagination. But they're really talking about the same thing. You see, reincarnation teaches that we live many different lives in different bodies. And as we live these different lives, it's like climbing the steps of a ladder till you reach the top. And then you've reached perfection. But I tell you, Let's see what the Bible has to say about this. You see, in Hebrews 9, 27, it says, And as it is appointed unto men once to die, but after this, the judgment. So you see, the Bible says that we only live once. But what about the judgment? That's a good question. What about the judgment? You see, that is the good news. And that, boys and girls, brings us to this little book that I passed out to you. Do you all have the book? Let's see, you've got it? Okay, this is called The Wordless Book. I think I'll just wait for the movie to come out. Okay. <laughs> now, I'm sure you've probably looked at it, and you see that this book doesn't have any writing in it. It has no pictures. But this little book tells the greatest story that has ever been told. Now, let's turn to the first page here. 
This is the dark page. Now you see, this darkness represents sin in our lives that separates us from God. Because in Romans 3.23, the Bible tells us that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Did you realize that? All of us have sinned. All right? When God created Adam and Eve, He gave them a free will. And when He did that, they were able to make their own decisions and they disobeyed because they ate of the forbidden fruit in the Garden of Eden. Now, this meant, of course, that they had disobeyed God and because they had disobeyed, the wages of sin is death because that was the first time that sin had ever happened on the earth. Did you know that? But also, God is a God of mercy. And so what he did was he made another way. Jesus himself said it in John 3, 16. Can you repeat that with me? For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Now, isn't that great? Think about it. Everlasting life. Okay. Now, let's turn to the red page. Now, this red page represents the blood of Jesus. Now, Jesus was God's only son. And you know what he did? He shed his blood for our sins. He literally paid the price that we should have paid. And do you know what? That made it possible for us to have eternal life. Now, let's turn to the white page. Everybody got the white page? Do you know what this represents? The white page represents the purity of our heart through the cleansing blood of Jesus. Isn't that great? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. All right. We are pure because of his blood. Now, you see, when Jesus went to Calvary and shed his blood, his blood was the atonement for our sins. And when God looks at us through the blood of Jesus, he sees us as white as snow, just like this page. See that? All right, now let's turn to the gold page. Now, isn't that beautiful? Look how rich, how shiny that color is. Isn't that beautiful? This represents the good things that God has in store for us in heaven. So you see, in John 14, verses 1 through 3, Jesus said, In my Father's house are many mansions, if it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there you may be also. It means we're going to be in heaven. Isn't that great? Think about it. We'll be there forever. It will be wonderful. I believe it, don't you? Okay. Now let's turn to the last page, which is green. What do you think about when you see the color green? I think about the grass growing or green trees, everything that's alive and, and becoming more wonderful as it grows. We see that's what we do after we accept Jesus Christ. We grow. And do you know how we grow? Think about it. Do you know how we grow? We grow as we go to Sunday school as we study and as we read the Word of God, which is the Bible. Because you see, the Bible is truth. And the one thing about the truth is once you understand it, you, you can't, can't fool me. Crystals are pretty smooth and shiny, they're just rocks you see. Astrology says the stars and planets chart my destiny But that's so silly, I don't believe it So I'm telling you Don't waste your time trying to change my mind I know what's tried and true So you can't fool me, no way you can Cause 
Cause I read the Bible and I understand So I won't be fooled by the tricks I see So you can't fool me No, you can't fool me I write this Reincarnation says that I have lived my life before And it goes on to tell me that I keep coming back for more Evolution teaches there's a monkey in my family tree. Tell me what right did Darwin have to rewrite history? Oh, you can't fool me, no way you can. Cause I read the Bible and I understand. So I won't be fooled by the tricks I see. So you can't fool me. Well, you can't. One more time. Oh, you can't fool me, no way you can. Cause I read the Bible and I understand. So I won't be fooled by the tricks I see. So you can't fool me. No, you can't fool me. Oh, now, 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 you can't fool me. All right, everybody. Tell me what else goes against God's word. Fortune telling. What else? Channeling. What else? Numerology. What else? Evolution. What else? Crystal ball. That ain't all. Come on, everybody, let's give it our all. Oh, you can't fool me, no way you can. Cause I read the Bible and I understand. So I won't be fooled by the tricks I see. Mr. Scallywag. Special delivery package for Mr. Shh, shh. Acme Mail Order Company. Again? Mr. Scallywag, you're incorrigible. Oh, thank you, mail girl. I know I promised, but well, this is different. I mean, well, it's different, isn't it? Hey, it's not easy being me. <laughs> <laughs>